Hey, Lon. Lon, do you remember the pleid? The pleid? What's a pleid? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what pleid means then? Pleid. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. Okay, real introduction. Um, sorry about that. It turns out you get an automatic cutscene as soon as you go to the plaza. Uh, I tried going to the airship. Turns out there's no reason to go to the airship, except if you didn't check the interior. You can get yourself a Mega Phoenix, but I digress. We, I decided Seraphie's here. Go talk to Seraphie. Get a cutscene. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something strange? Huh? Like what? Am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now? What do you mean now? Please. You know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both. I can't carry the prism case everywhere we go, but we can access it from safe locations. And you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle? Huh? Well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Ninewood Hills every time. Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with the sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphie in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. Yeah, Raid, you're gonna change the timeline. It's gonna create a time paradox or something. Gosh! There was some girl here the other day looking for you two. I didn't recognize her, but she was holding a teacup. Anyway, she said you two have been given the power to touch the souls of many. So you should stop by and visit her at your earliest convenience. Oh, but, uh, sorry. She didn't leave an address. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, let me, let me get that pixie stone. Here, help yourselves. Yeah! That, that, that always helps. I like having the ability to summon my champions. The rumor radar. Oh, mighty mill of rumor! Talk to me. Oh boy, Coliseum stuff. Uh, yeah, I could do that, but I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, alright, fair enough. Whatever. When we get Mog's major breakthrough. Oh no, okay, the butcher. Sounds terrible. Oh man, th this guy or girl, I don't remember. It's the doctor for Final Fantasy VIII. I guess, I guess they make a return in this game. I'm willing to bet that these have to do with the Pleiades. I think I'm saying that right. I might as well just go as Lon does and say Pleiades. Uh, since I'm here, might as well go check the Choco Bar. It could hurt. I mean, new items are always fantastic. Guess who's got some brand spanking new Choco stock? Is... Welcome to the Choco Latte Mart! Is it the good shit? You know, the stuff that you get because we beat the game? Um, let's see. Are the are these the new stuff? The, the seeds? The really cool stuff? Oh, no. It was the Kiraga seed. I mean, that's cool. Balance got uh, Banishra, so, you know, better better light spell, Aroga. Uh, basically, high-level spells in seed form. You give to your little mirages, and they become uh, 20 times better. Have a fantabulous day! I mean, that's real legit, but they're expensive. I could go to the Coliseum. I don't want it, though. 
Gotta explore all these new confangled areas, but at the same time, I mean, I'm, uh, it's, it's nothing all that new, and it's nothing that you shouldn't expect. We're this far into the game, which I technically call New Game Plus, but let's be honest, it's really going for the true ending, the good ending. You! Girl who forgot her name, drinking tea. Welcome to the rift between dreams and time. Tell me something what I don't now? know. Whose soul will you touch? Oh, you know, I'm going for the really cool stuff. Not that. I'm going for the really cool stuff, but not that. Wait, well. <laughs> oh! I knew it was coming. I was for a second there. I was like, "Wait, no, no, no intervention quest." Have I finally escaped? Boom! Four of them right there, right here. Can't escape. Go on with your bad self and go do it. All right, I'm, I'm buckling down. Let's get to it. Cutscene, baby. So it's been that long. None of us know exactly how long it's been, but it's estimated the giants who lived here must have disappeared about a hundred years ago. A century? Huh. It's a little hard to imagine. Well, why don't we head back to the airship and... <laughs> what the... <laughs> Was there something I could help you with, Bahamut? Oh, or should I call you Tia Babalo? You dare speak my true name before a stranger? Have you lost your mind? Uh, what is going on? It's been a century, you said? Been quite a while. But I used to know old Bahamut here. You know the Dyad Servant? A servant? Me? <laughs> oh, sorry. She means... That you once served Lon and Rain. Ah, yes. Who can forget those two? What? Lon and Rain are the demon Dyad? The Heralds, probably Seguaritus, must have concocted the name to spice up their crimson prophecy. But there's a basis to it. The original Azure prophecy mentions demons too. <sighs> Did Lon and Rain know? Could they have read it? Rain always was an avid reader. Yes, she was. Except acting out prophecies seems like one. You know, you're kind of taking all the wonder out of my childhood here. One thing I know. No one would have started calling them the Demon Dyad or whatever if you hadn't been there, acting like demons and wreaking havoc against their will. You can blame the heralds for that. I don't care how long I was sealed away. How dare Grandilus name his army Muhammad and declare himself king of this world? I'll kill him! Tell me where he is right this instant! Is that the reason you're here? Listen, I've observed Brandalus up close for a century, and... Tia Babalo, face it, you don't stand the slightest chance against him. What was that? The X-9 Knights. I trust you've heard of them. They're a fusion of three things. An Esper like me, a human, and lastly a god from the Extraverse. Gods from the Extraverse? Espers? What are those? Well, the Azure Prophecy makes mention of them both. Essentially, it says, From Oblivion, light and dark were born. Light begat beings called Espers. Dark begat monsters, and humans who sought the light. In the Extraverse, the world that surrounds ours, live gods that feed solely on death and destruction. Gods that are beings and non-beings, and will not heed reason. One world found a tear in the fabric, and exploited it to confine espers inside their human bodies. However, this tear left them open to the Extraverse and its cruel gods. So then does that mean the Heralds are those exact same gods? I can't say anything with real certainty yet. In the end, the prophecy is just words. So the best we can do is venture a guess at what it means. 
In fact, it's because this first section was so ambiguous, it was omitted from copies. Only direct descendants know it. Then... that would make you... Yes. That's right. The first summoner's descendant. Oh, and probably the last giant summoner, I would imagine. Although, it seems that some of you have picked up the art of summoning in our place. You'll keep it alive. Enough! Get to the point! Are you saying that Brandalus has become an X9 knight? Yes, that's right. A being who, just like in the prophecy, has crossed dimensions. In a way, what else can you call him but a god? He's completely different from the Brandalus that you think you know. You can't beat him. You can't even touch him. This cannot be! What you say is impossible! It doesn't matter what Brandalus is like now! He's not me! I'm the true king! The Bahamut King! Tia! Tia Babalu the Great! <sighs> Great. I see your temper's as short as ever. What? Why are we fighting? What the? Uh. So the demon diehard thing. That was talking about us, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured as much by now, to be honest. Oh, Rain. Do I have to remember my past if it's this much of a train wreck? Well, hang on. From what Wynn was saying, weren't most of our crimes against humanity caused by these troublemakers? Why don't you ask me? What are you two doing here? Would you quit it? You really need a lesson in anger management. I need what? Oh, also, you should forget about messing with the Heralds. It's true, you can't win. Oh, really? Then I shall just have to slaughter you in order to prove just how wrong you are. And now comes the fun-filled part where I get to edit everything so you guys don't have to suffer a half an hour battle. But on the other hand, you do get a little bit of my own failings at the beginning of this because uh, this is Bahamut, everybody. Bahamut or Bahamut or however you want to pronounce it. Tia Babalo. Tia Babalo, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Point is, this is big kahuna right here. The this summit that probably a lot of people love and know and things that he's a badass and he's got a lot of anger issues. I mean, you can. You can tell based on his personality where he's always yelling, but I digress. Point is, uh, how does this battle play out? What do you guys do? What what am I doing? Well, I mean, like, it's been a while, so, you know, experimenting. Got my Mega Mirage version of myself out on the field, as you can see. Uh, so, the, the main thing when it comes to Bahamut here, I'm, I'm gonna call it Bahamut, or maybe Team Ba Ba La Ba Ba La. It doesn't matter. Point is, uh, he hits like a truck, he'll count down from 5 to 0, and use Mega Flare, the very infamous tech that Bahamut's pretty well known for using, especially when you summon him onto the field, because that's usually what happens when you got Bahamut in your inventory, or in your arsenal anyways. Infamously summons and uses Mega Flare. Anyways, point is, in this battle, he'll be doing that. A lot. Sure, I know, I'm fast forwarding things and it kind of ruins the whole ambiance of everything, but uh... Thing is, Bahamut's really annoying to fight. Or maybe I just don't have a really well-suited team to go take on big boss-like mirages. Very possible. But anyways, I digress. Point is, uh, the main thing you really gotta do is keep your health up. Maybe throw out a balancing spell or something if you have one. And then just keep on attacking him. Uh, if you're not quite as strong as I am, I mean, uh, if you're stronger than me, no issue whatsoever. If you're about at the same level, you know, you're just gonna have to keep willing down his health as much as possible. That's really all I can say about it. Uh, if you have Mega Mirages, good thing to use in this whole entire battle. Bomb it here, he's basically the same size as a Mega Mirage, so, you know, he, he hits like one. He has the health to match it. 
It's in question marks, so I've gotta help me. I don't know what we're up against. It's probably in five digits. So, uh, yeah, be, be aware of that. Something else to note, he has 100% status resistance, so uh, if you try to poison him, not gonna work. It's, it's a good idea in theory, but still can't, can't connect, can't do the thing. So, you know, be, be a little aware of that. Do what you can. Do your best to make things happen. It, it, it's all good, man. No one's gonna judge you too harshly. Forgive me as I try to readjust myself if it sounds a little weird, I might. Anyways, a lot of this is post because, again, it took me about half an hour trying to will down his health just because he's so bulky and big and awesome. Let's be honest, it's Bahamut. Everybody loves him. Uh, and, and everybody likes their own version of him. Thank God it's not Final Fantasy VII where he has like 9,000 different forms. Uh, really just two, you know, Neo Bahamut and Bahamut Zero. Or Bahamut Type Zero, I think. I think that may have been a translation or something. I don't know. Point is, uh, Bahamut, everybody. King Bahamut, the real king of Bahamut, uh, Tia Babalo. Uh, which is kind of weird. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Now I'm, now I'm very, very interested in looking up this whole Tia, Tia Babalo nonsense. But again, digressing because, you know, let's do that a lot. Uh, once you got the strat down of healing, balancing, and, uh, and attacking, it's pretty much straightforward. Every time he tries to use Mega Flare, you get a little bit of cushioning to kind of do what you need to do because he's not going to do anything as he counts down. You got four free turns to just do whatever you do. So, yeah, be aware of that. Do what you gotta do. This is pretty much the rest of the battle. I'm just stalling. In fact, uh, I don't know. You can, you can kind of see the whole strategy here now that I got it because it's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, defend when he uses Mega Flare. Before I forget, very key, crucial point. When he... Because you'll know when he uses it. It's it, when he when he counts down to one, start defending. Don't don't matter what you're gonna do. You don't have enough time to do anything else. Just start defending. Good strategy. You negate some of that heavy damage. It hits like a truck for everybody. Grand takedown also hits like a truck, but uh, what whatever. Yeah, that's that's really all there is to it. That, that's about Bahamut in a nutshell. Wait, it's, that's it? We did it? <laughs> oh, that took so long. Oh, and I found the the right strategy. It was rinse and repeat afterwards, but still, that sucked so much. Oh. Fortunately, the other Pleiades aren't nearly as difficult as Tia Babylon over there, but still. Mm. This can't be. When did you ever gain such strength? Just a guess, but we must be more powerful than before. This is like our second go at this, right? Hey, Tia Babalo. You know, we're planning to fight Brandalus. If you come with us, you can have a shot at him. T <laughs> Now that I've lost, I have no right to refuse. I'm yours! Did we actually defeat him? A dyad servant? Huh? Yuri! Huh? Oh. How about that? Lon and Rain have just taken their servant back. What? Lon and Rain are here? How is that? I don't know. But that's a good question for when I see them. Well, guess who we just got? 
Yeah, that, that's the one nice thing about actually finding the Pleiades. Uh, you you get them right after you fight them. You don't have to capture them or anything. It's just straightforward, straight there. Got yourselves Bahamut. Uh, I, I will be taking him with us. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm sorry, Jaws. You're getting shelled. You're getting shelled for... For Bahamut! The one, the only... I want him. I mean, uh... Let's be honest, if you had the option, you totally would use him. And I know what you're saying. It's like, come on, killed him. You, you can't use him. Uh, yeah, I know. But it's not like the first time I've broken my rules. I mean, uh, it is what it is. Anyway, so if you like this part, if you like me losing my mind trying to fight Bahamut, or Bahamut, Tia Babalo, whatever, Tia ba 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 blah. Uh, yeah. I don't know, stay tuned for the other several guys that we gotta go do intervention quest, because you know it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but hopefully it'll be good. And it won't be nearly as tedious as I actually was. It took me half an hour, everybody. Okay, not the worst, but still editing it. So, have a good day. Like, comment, and subscribe, you know, all that stuff that you just slap people, all the stupid YouTube whores, because I'm a stupid YouTube whore. Yeah, I'm selling out now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, bye-bye. No, don't actually like, comment, and subscribe. It was all a point. Just, just don't do it. Or tell me how stupid I am in the comment section. That That's a good way to put it. All right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.